A message I would send to a potential adversary. They're gonna be fighting two very flexible and hungry forces who constantly train for the future fight. You're facing an ever-changing, ever-adapting force that is going to constantly be seeking to hunt and kill the enemy. In terms of what surprised me the most during Shinka from the JGSDF is how deliberate and analytical they are and how detailed they are in their planning. They take this training very seriously. They treat it like it's real combat. I was very impressed by the Marines' fighting spirit and their attitude to do the most of what they have. I think the main importance is for both sides to improve techniques and build fighting spirit. Shinka is a huge opportunity to have realistic training between both the Marine Corps and the JGSDF. When we were planning with the Japanese and we were trying to take the best parts, of all of our knowledge and our capabilities to create the best plan possible. The word Shinka doesn't have a direct translation from Japanese to English, so we look at it to generally interpret meaning infinitely training, infinitely improving. And I think the existence of the exercise itself demonstrates our resolve, our shared responsibility to the mutual defense of Japan. I think one thing that Exercise Shinka demonstrates to any potential adversary is that we are dedicated to fighting alongside with our key ally in Japan and that we're able to fight in an expeditionary environment. We're able to move rapidly onto the objective, seize and retain that key maritime terrain, and that we can defend against a numerically superior force. The bottom line of this exercise is that it demonstrated that we are ready to do so here in the first island chain or anywhere else in the Western Pacific. This is Scorpion radio chain. Fire uh, from the enemy, roughly 03. Under copy, 40. Can you support 10 minutes, one round every 30 seconds? Roger, copy 10 minutes, one round every 30 seconds. Out.